In this step, we're going to configure the View Controller class. So the idea behind this is that you're going to need to not only create objects in your interface builder file, but also create the code that will control their behavior later on. So the code here is going to be sort of a reference for things that you'll actually create uh, in your interface builder file. Uh, to do that, we use something called IB Outlet and IB Action. This is just a special word which indicates to the system that the properties you're configuring here will be used by Interface Builder later on. So I'm going to select the, the My View Controller interface file and then copy and paste code. Uh, this code I'm uh, pasting in here now is essentially properties. Um, you can see here is the IB Outlet special code, but in general, these. Uh, this code is going to behave like any other property you would use, or as the like the example I used in my previous blog post on how to do this in code. Uh, let's just give me a second here while I copy and paste this stuff in. So as you can see, these are just properties, and the only difference between these properties and normal ones are the IB Outlet keywords and the IB Action keywords. And again, this indicates to the system that Interface Builder is going to look for these properties. Uh, but I still need to go back to my uh, implementation file and finish adding this code to make sure these properties will all work. So just like anything else, we use Synthesize. I'm th synthesizing my label and my slider. And the IB Action method I filled out here. So as you can see, what this Action's going to do is change the label text, which we haven't added yet, uh, to the value that you pick with the slider. And of course, IB action here is just like any other method, except that instead of saying void here, it says IB action. So again, Interface Builder knows to look for it.